Hello. You should be able to hear me. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about why, like, believe in like war, like, as in, what do I believe of rally? What do I think of rally? What, what do I think of this piece of equipment? It's like some login thing or that this room, like the entire universe and things. So, so basically. I believe we're just we're just part of a self-replicating fractal of consciousness. So it's just it's just that's it. this idea sort of says that there's like loads of different levels of consciousness, but none are actually higher, none are none are lower. It just appears so because because if you keep because I believe it, if you keep going in the higher levels of consciousness, like keep going higher and higher and higher, you'll eventually get to this level, just like. Yeah, then if you keep going lower, you get like, you get into a different one. Now, now a level of consciousness is say like, I'm a, what I am a level of consciousness because I consider myself a conscious being, but I also consider bacteria a conscious being. That's a lower level of consciousness than the electron, and then it just sort of goes down until you get people. And now, why do I believe this? You might ask. Well, I'll tell you why. Because I had an experience. I'll share with you in a bit. And also this picture. Talk about it in a minute. But the experience I had was I was on acid. And then I just I got the ability of being able to zoom into things really, really well. So I could look at this pen and I'll just be able to be a, I'll just be able to zoom into it, just look at the tiny details like you won't be able to see shit in this camera, but yeah. But then I just so then I did this to the floor. I looked at the floor. I was like thinking, uh, so I'd look. Need some water. That's good. But yeah, I was able to. I looked at this. So I just look, kept on looking down. I just eventually zoomed in really far. I could see the I think I saw the chemical composition of things. I don't really know. But main point is, I was I was able to like to just see the uh, quantum world, like the quantum world as predicted as quantum mechanics. Now uh, here's a little nice application that shows it. Um, so, you see that big blue thing? That's basically if you have a, uh, a world that saw a, a quantum world, so that's a, it has to be a one dimensional quantum world, and you put an electron in its ground state, so this is its lowest energy state, this is where you're probably going to find it if the entire universe for this electron is just a one dimensional universe running from one end of the black thing to the other end of the black thing. Now, here's the second excited level. This is where you're probably going to find it. Third. Oh, that's the fifth and so forth. So then let's say you get a an electron, two electrons, one in the third state and one in the sixth state. The, as time progresses, this is where you're going to pro. This is the probability distribution. So this is where you're probably going to find this electron. And yeah, you could like keep on adding more things, and they get quite mad, as you can now see. And basically, this is what I saw. So I was like, "Cool, I'm able to see the quantum world." And by the way. I was able to, I had this experience straight after I was reading this book that I've lent to a friend so I can't actually remember it but I'll go and find it and post a link and basically this is, I think it's the Serpent of Light uh, basically this book basically this book says uh, as an, an anthropologist studying uh, ayahuasca shamans like he wants to find out where they're able to get their botanical knowledge from like 
So if you have this disease, take this herb and you'll be fine. He wants to find out where they get this information from. So he goes and speaks, so he goes and lives with them for some time. I don't know, but he basically, and the shamans say they are, they get this information from the plants themselves. And he just spends like loads of time trying to interpret their answers. And uh, he ends up with the hypothesis that he hypothesizes that the, when the shamans take ayahuasca, they're able to take their consciousness down to the level of DNA. And once they're at that level, they are able to obtain the information directly from DNA because well, that's basically it. Cause, so if you have cause a poison is some sort of a protein and you sort of, on the DNA level, you need another type of protein to neutralize it. And if you could look at DNA, well, basically you'll be able to find out what that sort of protein you need to get rid of the other protein. So yeah, if they're able to get that, conscious on the DNA level and read DNA, they'd be able to, yeah, they'd be able to get this information. Yeah, and basically this is a hypothesis, and I'm just there looking at the quantum world, straight after I read that, and so I'm like, what should I do? Zoom in some more? Yeah. Now, I zoomed in some more, I saw people. Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw like beings that had the uh, hands and legs and the head, got bodies walking around. I, I saw even little children walking around. Yeah, that's what I saw. Now, this is one of the reasons. This is the experience that led me to my belief of the self-replicating fractal of consciousness that just carries on and on and on, and you eventually get to the same level. Uh, oh, the tune's not ended. So, uh, now this picture, now if you look at it, it, on the left is a brain cell and the right is the universe. You know, you have to find this picture, just type in brain cell versus the universe on Google images and you're sorted. Now my interpretation of this, uh, of this picture is that everything that we can see in the universe with our telescopes and whatnot is basically just one brain cell for this enormous gigantic being that's basically like a human being that's got legs and arms and is able to pick up like, a mouse <laughs> pictures <laughs> it's got like it's got tunes it's got everything but the thing is i believe that this being functions on a different time scale to us because if you look at bacteria i mean but normal life for your cell is like seven weeks. So in seven weeks, this cell has got to do basically what you've got to do. But it's got to do it in seven weeks. So the way it does that, it functions in a different time scale. That's just what I think. Because in like, because there was like, a, uh, there was something like in one second, something like you get like fifty thousand new cells. This probably isn't the right number, it's just off the top of my head, I can't remember it. And yeah, that's the thing. This, so by the time me and you have like... Microphone. So by the time me and you have like... Experienced like millions of years, that, that, that gigantic being probably has experienced one second. And yeah. That's, that's what I believe in the universe. Also, it's my birthday today. Yay, 25th of June. Ah, oh, that's some good tune.